Now it's time to welcome our final guest, income specialist and a repeat uh, guest of the income generation, Anthony Sicaro. He's an attorney and he's also the president of Providence Financial, a retirement income store located just outside of LA. Anthony, as usual, it's great to have you with us today. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Anthony, I'm glad you're on the show today. I love your, I love interviewing you because you're, you're so smart on this kind of stuff. So tell us what investors, pre-retirees, retirees don't understand when you first start to educate them about passive income. Well, I think the primary concern that I have with most investors is they've never made a transition from investing for how to get to retirement to actually investing in retirement. And the challenge is if you're invested in stocks and mutual funds, like most people are heading towards retirement, it becomes a guessing game in retirement because you have no idea what your portfolio is going to be worth in a year or two or three from now. And that what it forces them to do is retirement guessing instead of retirement planning. That's the biggest concern I have for most people that come in to see us. Understood, understood. So it's really hard for them to make that transition. So tell us how you transition them from a growth perspective. They've got this habit of accumulation their entire life, and now they've got to change their financial habits. How do you bridge that? Well, I think the transition comes purely from knowledge. Most people do not know that there is a whole universe of options out there that are designed to give you interest and dividends. Most people are just not aware of that because the entire world of Wall Street seems geared towards helping individuals grow their money. There are very few institutions and individuals and no marketing uh, uh, about how individuals can actually get income. So once you educate them, the light bulb goes on and they instantly realize that it makes a lot of sense. It's purely education, Jeff. So, Anthony, why do you think the, our financial culture, our financial industry is so dogmatic about growth? That growth is the only answer they have. And you can't eat growth in retirement, especially when the market drops. Oh, absolutely. I think the reason that they're so dogmatic about it is because mutual funds are phenomenal for growth and mutual funds are going to charge you some type of residual fee, oftentimes between 1% and 2% a year. And mutual funds for income don't work. And it's all boils down to the money. The fact that mutual funds are great for growth and, and you can make a lot of money, that really is the reason why the growth message is predominant and why the income message is just not out there. If you can do income through mutual funds, it would be out there. Yeah. You mean you mean it's a lot of money in it for those that sponsor the mutual fund is I think what you're trying to say. So last question, those who come to you who are just a little short, that are a little unprepared, a little last minute for retirement, but are ready to pull the trigger, what's your best advice for them? You get some advice. That would be the best advice. Don't go it alone. Check with an income specialist. Learn about income producing options and set yourself up so you're not having to guess what your retirement looks like. By investing for income, you will know what your retirement is going to look like. That's going to give you the peace of mind to retire so you're not having to wonder. That's right. Great answer. And you know, the, the, the answer could be you might have to work a little bit longer or maybe just make that transition from growth to income. Maybe you don't need any more money. You just need it to spin off more cash flow. So, Anthony, it's been our pleasure as usual. It's been great having you on the show. Thank you for having me.